And we're learning more information this daybreak about the suspect who went on a rampage near UC Santa Barbara in California. Letters the teen wrote say his mother was selfish for not having married into money. As KVU's Andrew Spencer reports, authorities believe he was severely disturbed. It's just uh, one of those things that happens, uh, wrong place, wrong time. Two friends randomly caught in a rampage. Nick Pasichuk was longboarding when he and his bicycling friend were hit by a car. They had informed me that uh, it'd be a while before ambulances and other medical personnel would be there because they were attending to uh, multiple gunshot victims. Police say Elliot Roger killed six people and injured 13 others before killing himself in a rampage near UC Santa Barbara. Police searched the homes of Roger's mother and his father on Sunday looking for evidence, but the suspect appears to have already made his motives clear. In a chilling seven minute long YouTube video, Roger called it a day of retribution for what he said was the crime of living a better life than he had. He emailed this 137 page document titled My Twisted World to his parents and his therapist on the day of the rampage. In reading it, police say it's very apparent of the severe uh, extent of uh, uh, how disturbed uh, Mr. Roger uh, was. The central theme is Roger's virginity, which he blamed on the cruelness of women. A neighbor told reporters he knew Roger. He had like dead eyes and he's just staring at you the entire time just looking around just glancing at everybody and like everybody else is having fun and he was like i mean not to sound like insensitive but he was like a buzzkill he says he had heard him say he planned to kill other people and then himself i'm andrew spencer reporting and here in southeast austin some good samaritans saved a young man from drowning in the colorado river yesterday Police say witnesses called 911 after hearing that teenager yell for help from the water near Highway 183 in an area known as Secret Beach. Paramedics say the bystanders then pulled the victim from the water and performed CPR. They were able to revive him. He went to Dell Children's Medical Center in serious but a non-life-threatening condition. Austin City Council postponed its decision on final design plans for the former Holly Street Power Plant last week. Yesterday, opponents of the proposal celebrated that delay. The nine-acre property sits on the north shore of Lady Bird Lake, east of I-35. Plans are in the works to make the area a park, but opponents of the current proposal say the city's plan is simply too metropolitan. Our bathrooms and water fountains, nine times out of ten, are non-functional. And being it's 110 degrees plus in the city of Austin during the summer, we think it's very important that our kids have water to drink and clean restrooms there for hygiene purposes. The organizer of yesterday's event says instead of spending millions in redevelopment, the most pressing need is park maintenance. The city will take up the issue again in August. Well, Ukraine has elected a new president, an in-depth look at the billionaire chocolate king who is set to take over the troubled nation. Plus, a freak accident at a racetrack kills one of its employees. See what family and friends have to say about his tragic death. Right now on radar, we're tracking some light to moderate showers here in Austin. Some heavier downpours in Caldwell County. We'll show that to you, plus track the rain chances for the next seven days coming up. And here's a look at our beautiful Capitol building on this Memorial Day morning. We'll be right back here on KG Daybreak.